What's going on everybody? I'm back again with another video. And before the video starts, I just need to announce that I'm like halfway sick right now. So if you hear some sniffles in the review, that's the reason why. I'm not like OD sick, but you know, I'm not healthy either. But anyway, today we got these cool gray 11s right here, man. Heat on the shock drop, let's get to this review. So right here, we got the cool gray 11s. Now I was fortunate enough to hit on these for retail on the shock drop, which was about three weeks ago. And when I opened up the box, my first reaction was like, damn, these are some good ass shoes. I'm not even gonna lie. I had plans to resell them just because the price was crazy high. But then I was like, nah, man, I gotta wear these cause I can't even risk not having another pair for retail. You know what I mean? Like I might as well just wear it early and stun at cats at school. So that's exactly what I did. Went in there Monday and that's why they were laced super loose because I wore them on Monday. Low key was breaking necks, not gonna lie. A couple people asked me, yo, how'd you get them early? Told them I got them off the shock drop. This is my second time getting the W on the shock drop. My first time was the Fire Red Fives, if you remember those. But yeah, I'm not really gonna go too deep into the shoe because I mean, there's a million reviews out there. You guys know what it comes with, translucent outsole, high cut patent leather, smooth new buck and shit, white laces, everybody knows by this point. They announced on Twitter that JD and Finish Line aren't gonna have these online. They did all theirs through exclusive access. So I don't know if they're gonna do a different drop day or if not gonna drop them at all. Um, I wasn't really expecting these to be that limited if I'm being honest, but I'm here in stores only have 24 pairs or they only have one of each size. So in certain areas, there might be a lot of pairs, but in certain areas there may not. And of course that's due to all the shipping delays that's been happening recently around the country, not even with just shoes, just in general, just shipment has been pretty butt cheeks as of recently. Like it's, it has not been good at all. Like I ordered a hoodie with usps and bruh that should stay there for two months i contacted the company and they told me hey we're just gonna send you another one because that shit got lost i was like damn bro that's that's no good you know what i mean but anyways getting back to the shoe i decided to put a black light over it just to see if there's any glue stains on the midsole or on the upper or whatever and there was some glue stains on the white midsole but if i'm being honest i don't think anyone really cares i mean they bumped up the price five dollars and no one cares about that anyways so i don't think anybody will be too pressed over that another thing that i didn't really like though is that usually they come with the plastic shoe trees but this year they just use the regular shoe trees and i was like damn it kind of took away from like the whole like 11 feel you know what i mean because the the bread 11s the last 11s that i got they had the red plastic shoe trees and i really like those so i just wish they put that especially since they upped the price five dollars but you know, Jordan Brand's gonna do what they want. Now, I don't usually wear 11s, but whenever a classic shoe comes out, I just gotta grab them, you know what I mean? It's that, it's just that sneaker head in me, I guess. But this is a tremendous shoe anyways. The white laces hit nice. I got compliments at school when I wore them. So these are just some nice shoes to bust out every once in a while. I, they're definitely not an everyday wear for me, but maybe for your style, they are. Now, the last thing I'm gonna talk about is sizing. And in my opinion, these Jordan 11s, they run true to size. So just stick true to size. Don't go up half a size, don't go down half a size. But then again, everybody's foot is different. So if you can, try on a Jordan 11 before you actually buy them. And that's the end of the review for these cool gray 11s. If you like the video, drop a like, drop a sub. Make sure you do all that, it really helps out the channel. I gotta show you guys these on feet. You got me and I'm out. Jordan 1 pollens 
at the end of the video, I said that I would have something very exclusive to show you guys. Well, that exclusive shoe was the off-white Nike Dunk. I got exclusive access to it when they were giving it out back in August. And if I'm being honest, dog, I just, I don't know why I didn't. Actually, I do know why I didn't make that video. It's because I just didn't even want to make videos anymore. I don't know what was up with me, dog. Like, I just, I don't know. Especially just sneaker videos, though. Like, I was still kind of active on TOL, but I just didn't even want to make sneaker videos like that anymore you know what i mean so after i got the off-white dunks i got lightning fours um what else like i got pollens well that was the last video i made um i got other shoes you know i just recently got the ama maniers and shit and i still have the off-white dunks and i was kind of debating whether to make that video in like september and or uh, october but i just didn't make it because i was just like man what's the point like i just don't even like making the shoe videos no more so i decided fuck it i'm gonna just make one for the cool gray 11s and if I have fun while making it, then I'll keep making the videos. If I don't, then I won't. And I'm not gonna put in the bloopers for this video, but I did have some fun making this video, I'm not gonna lie. It kinda, it kinda rejuvenated my, my love for the sneaker game a little bit. So I decided, fuck it. We're gonna do more sneaker videos. I might even make a video for the Am Am in years, I don't know yet. But uh, yeah, hopefully them patent leather breads is next. Hopefully I see y'all soon.